obviously I'm not going to ask you to say numbers or whatnot, but I feel like a lot of wrestling fans hear that so-and-so is all lead. So-and-so is all lead a lot of time. There's a lot of people on the roster. How do the contracts work in AEW from the guys that are like a little lower on the cards, maybe like up to the top? Well, yeah, they, they had this thing called a tier zero deal where it would be a per appearance deal, right? So it, you would get uh, an allotted amount. Uh, I'll just say around four figures. Every time you you were brought into TV, they would take care of your flight and your hotel and fly you in. So a guy that hasn't necessarily got an all elite graphic yet might be on a tier zero deal and being brought in for per appearance dates and still be making that figure every time they're brought in. So there's a tier zero deal in that sense. And then the tiers go up and there's more money and salary time and guarantees and things of that nature. So the base deal, which I was just trying to get, the tier zero, I eventually got a tier one and got bumped up. And, uh, you know, that was a salary, a, a certain amount per year. And I got paid bi-weekly every two weeks. It hit my account just like that. So I got that for two years and I made the most of it. Oh,